What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'm your internet host. I'll, I'll be your your host with the most. I think it's Dirkwood Boars. Dirkwood Bayloth, rather. Dirkwood Boars is a shitty 4-4. Um, I kind of like Supreme Verdict. Sylvan Carry Added is cool. Gruel Turf is great. I love Bounce Lands. But Dirkwood Boar is just a 5-5 five -five that you invest one mana in. I'm explaining my deviant behavior. I put I put rubber rubber erasers up my butthole because because of the late night stream. That's uh for those of you just joining, this is a little month monsters. Joke's on you, I've never left the internet. Dang. The joke is on me. I have been thwarted, as they say. Ooh, ball lightning is a sick follow up to Dirkwood Bayloth. Um, but more seriously, I like Wildheart Invoker a lot. 4-3 for 4 is fine. And then target creature gets five, plus 5, plus 5 for 8 mana. 8 mana is a lot. But if you can give your guy plus 5, plus 5 and trample, uh, usually you can't lose combat, so. Thank you! TPO with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. TPO, you even summoned you. yourself? I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much, man. I don't care about no fiend hunter. Ain't no hunter like the one I got. Hunter's out sitting sleeping on the couch. Ooh, greater good is fascinating. Draw cards equal to the power, then discard three. So you want to sacrifice creatures with power four or greater. Which is sad, because, you know, it's... Whisper of the Wilds is great. Let's take the Rampy Boy. I'm I'm down for it. I think the kids I think the kids would say I'm down to clown. Cause I just went seven two with the weirdest Simic deck I've drafted in Zendikar Rising. Congrats, bud. Congrats, you little doodle. Ain't no woman like the one I got. You mean the kids that are into insane clown posse? Those kids are in their thirties now. Is that true? Does anyone have a, a beta channel they want to uh, gift to the channel? Do you have a beta channel that you want to gift to the channel? Is that a thing? Is that... Wait, hold on. That can't be correct. A beta channel is only $26 lightly played? How is that correct? Am I missing something? That seems really low. TPO, have a great night, buddy. I'm gonna get Wild Mongrel here, boy. Wild Mongrel is a banger. We don't have any second color yet right now. Counterspell's pretty good. Death's Grasp is sweet, but, I mean, come on. I don't understand this low price of channel. Is it because it's been reprinted a bunch? Was Channel an, oh, is an uncommon, I guess? Maybe that contributes, but it still seems like an iconic magic card that should not be that cheap. Um, I think Counterspell is just probably too good, right? Stupid? I seems stupid. Am I stupid? It's just got to be better than friggin' other cards, right? I'm really hoping someone can explain this $26 beta channel because I want a beta channel for my cube. It's a black border channel that looks better than the new ones. And I don't really understand. Blood Hunter Bat is great. And it's only one black, which is super nice. I'm going to take that guy. Look at Sultai just naturally, naturally flows. Abu Primark. 
three three for four that becomes a seven seven for four i'm all about it i'm all about these big fat greeny boys Channel being banned in Legacy and Restricted and Vintage with the reprints and a playset being functionally one, that might be it. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. That is a very good point. Beta Balance, however, that's $1,300. So that's that's a little more. It's a, it's a big, bit bigger. Oh, Mahamodi. Ma, Ma, Fat Mahdi, as, as we called him back in the day. All right, maybe Counterspell's back on the menu and Bloodbaths. Off the menu. Uh, Greater Basilisk is pretty good. Don't care about Doorkeeper, Shriekgeist, or Cephalid Broker that much. Sylvan Carry Out also draws us, but this guy just might be just better. I mean, a 3-5 with the Death Touch blocks anything and attacks through anything as well. Presence of Gond is interesting. I don't think it's great, but if you have any sort of way to untap your creatures, it's all right. Greater Good came back, huh? I'll take a Greater Good. I also like Skin Wing. Skin Wing's kind of cool. Just having this on board is really good. Like, sack this guy, draw five, discard three. Like, so you're netting two if they try to kill your guys. And most of our creatures have... Eh. Plus two, plus two, and flying is real good. <laughs> I'll take the only card that in the color that we've been looking at so far. Dude, these resealable, these sealable dragon shields are, uh, are perfect fits are like insane next level. I'm like just so impressed with them right now. Like the fit is just really good. It doesn't feel bulky. There's no bump where the seal, where the, where the folds, like it's kind of incredible. Like, look at this bad boy. This is a perfect fit sealed all the way around. Man, Dragon Shield, you should sponsor me. I'll sell your products. Meringue. Lemon Meringue River Prowler. As long as you control a black or green permanent, you can cast him from the graveyard. I don't think we're rising. We could Canker Abomination. Pattern of Rebirth is also interesting. When Enchanted Creature dies, that creature's control my search library for a creature put on the battlefield. So you just equip your guy. If it dies, you replace it with any creature in your deck. It's not bad. Dare you to make Urza Tower work. You know what? I might pass. Canker Abomination seems fine. I think Pattern's cool, but... I don't know. Miss Moon Griffin, get out of here. Yeah, I'll take the Canker Abomination, I guess. I, I don't think Pattern of Rebirth is... Oh, wow, Simic Guildgate. Yes. Yes, we are taking a Simic Guildgate. Hunt the Week is awesome. It's actually probably pretty good for us. Yeah. But considering we have two double blue cards, I'm just going to take the Simic Guildgate. Doomsday. Wow, that art is also insane. It's unfortunate that it's by a... Shitlord. Mystic of the Hidden Way seems good. Um. Yeah, it's got to be Mystic. Mystic seems fine here. I don't think we're disfiguring. We do have Bloodhunter Bat, though. I think Mahamodi and Counterspell are better than Bloodhunter Bat. And the... Oh, this guy's actually really good because we have green, so we can just... Yeah, let's just take Meringue River Prowler. Eh, 
Wild Hunger, we can't hit the red half. I think we actually just take Crushing Canopy for the sideboard. Destroying a Flyer or an Enchantment is pretty decent. Maelstrom Pulse? Wow, that's really... That's really convincing to... <laughs> Ugh, another Whisper of the Wilds. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> just really solid removal. I think it might just be Whisper here. Being able to ramp to our four drops is pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to stay the course. Walker of the Groves is kind of fine. 1-1 one, one Thalad's kind of mad. I'd rather just have the big guy, especially with the double Whisper of the Wilds now. Ooh, Lissel on a Huntmaster. I wonder how many we can, uh... wonder how many we can make. I mean, these guys are humans. Dang it. That's unfortunate. That's an elf. This guy an elf? Human rogue. Human monk. Those inner sleeves you are using have an extra layer that you kind of wrap around, so maybe that is what is causing the card to go a little more tight into the direction. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But my point is, like, if it doesn't do that on the katanas, um, I'd rather just go with the katanas, right? Like, I mean, I think they're both very, very high-quality sleeves. But if one is going to fulfill the function that I wanted to, which is be able to flip double-sided cards easier and still provide very good protection, then I'll probably just go with that one. Target player shuffles up to four cards from their graveyard in the library. Yeah. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. And you can flash it back. That's two secret attacks. Deranged assistant. Exile the creature, return that creature to battlefield under its control, taking the next end step. It's nice because it can work on your guys or their guys. We don't have very many, like, enters the battlefield effects, though. I'm just going to take the deranged assistant. I'll take Shimmering Grotto. Just in case we do want to splash anything. Okay, we'll take Stampede Driver. I don't think we're going to play it. But having like a kind of pseudo trample effect is pretty decent. I'll just take the foil. Our blue is not very deep right now. I don't want to say not very good. I think it's pretty good. It's just not very deep. Oh no, the, the the point of the katanas, the katanas the katanas are completely opaque. That's the that's the whole reason I grabbed them. All katanas are completely opaque, and the purple and black ultra pro mats, or not ultra pro dragon shield mats are also opaque. So those are the only ones I'm considering going with. But the nice thing about katanas is that even if I get a lighter color, they're still opaque. So Alvin Wall Tracker seems very good. Putrefy seems very good. Mist Raven seems very good. I'm pretty sure it's either Mist Raven or Elvenwald Tracker. 
Elven Wall Tracker being repeatable is very, very good. I'm going to take the Elven Wall Tracker. Oh, actually, Horseshoe Crab would have been pretty decent with the presence of Gond in our sideboard, but I really wasn't even considering it at the time. <laughs> presence of Gond was not... Uh... I mean, I want to be honest with you, it's very likely we could get another Horseshoe Crab if we really want one because of the odds of them opening one pack of uh, whatever that set is. <laughs> it's relatively decent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cards. I'm sleeving up 45 cards. I'm getting. I'm looking into a new cube box from from Aaron Kane, uh, who made my first cube box for me two years ago. His work is incredible. I guess you should definitely check out Aaron Kane deck boxes. Um, I kind of like Nature's Lore just because it ramps us to four, and I think that's a pretty relevant. Uh, I actually think this is a gush deck though. We can ramp into enough that we can actually just cast gush. Which I think is fine. I don't think it's tangle. Yeah, we're just gonna take the gush. I don't think we're gonna be bouncing our lands. I think we're just actually gonna just cast gush and not even worry about it. I ain't even worried about it. Um Sullen Library has basic land cycling, that's kinda cool. In case we do want to splash like a black card or something. Like, Petal of Insight is five mana. It does draw you three cards. Look at the top three cards of your library. You put those cards in the bottom of your library in any order. If you do, if... Okay, so you either draw the three or you put the three on the bottom and return this to your hand. That's actually not bad. I think we've probably taken that. If you would draw a card, draw two cards instead. That's going to get us killed in limited. I do like Tumble Magnet. Veteran Explorer. Not, don't really have a Sacrifice deck. Dark Steel Axe is also okay. I think I do like Tumble Magnet a little more than Dark Steel Axe, maybe? Like, we're just gonna kind of have a ton of removal, so being able to get blockers out of the way seems important for me. Ooh, Trigon Predator is super nice. Oh my god, Super Super Fridge just told me something amazing. Super Fritz is the hero. Oh my god, Super Fritz. <laughs> what a what a fucking what an absolute treasure. Either spell bomb. Eh, it's not exciting, but it's fine. In an otherwise unexciting pack. For us anyway. I think our deck is actually looking decent, relatively decent. I mean, we can go turn two. Ooh, I kind of like Silent Departure a lot. What does Centaur Chieftain do? As long as you're, it's a 3-2 with haste. Uh, as long as you have Threshold, when it enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and trample. <laughs> Did you draft a good deck while I was busy? I don't know. I'll take Silent Departure. Again, have, I don't think foil's that great, but it is nice to have it. I have to discard an island and another card. So you discard two to counter spell. So it's a three for one. I think there's got to be one more card that's probably not. Deranged Assistant is totally meh, especially when we have a double Whisper of the Wilds. So Super Fritz just told me he's like, "Hey, you need that beta channel for your cube? I'm gonna pick it up, pick it up for you right now." And then he did. Man, what a fucking what a Christmas miracle! What an actual hero. We already have one of these. I'm just going to take Skywing Aven. Oh, Seal of Primordium seems good. I don't think we have enough tokens in our deck. Also, Lissala Huntmaster can probably go. I think we have like one elf. 
Wild Mongrel also not doing us many favors in this deck, unfortunately. Super Fritz, I appreciate you, buddy. You're easily the best employee of the sub the sub mines. Um I kinda don't mind obsessive search with Wild Mongrel, but it's also kinda missed. Oh the Sylvan Bounty came back. Well that's obviously true. <laughs> uh, the humility is strong with this one. With mana cost six or greater, so we can actually hit any one of these guys. It's also an elf, it triggers Lissala Huntmaster. Any color on which pref... Uh, usually black is probably the, the best color you want to go with, because it obviously there's tons of black cards. That's, um... I guess we're taking Thought Reflection. Elish Vanguard. Yeah, take you out, take the Vanguard out. Emperor Crocodile is actually pretty sizable. What is this guy? When you couldn't turn about the creatures, you sacrifice it. I think this deck looks fine like this. We did not get another crab, unfortunately. Two black? No, nah, don't be like that. We're going to go 8-8 eight, eight and Cement Growth Chamber. The reason is this is double blue. This is double blue. Why do we have one for this guy? I'm definitely wondering if Crocodile is just better. This guy's also never getting any counters whatsoever. <laughs> he could get one counter. I think this is fine like this. We're going to save it. All right. <clears throat> I think this is fine. We have some card advantage, we have some bounce, we have some counter spells. Or that could also be terrible. But who knows? Maybe it's good. You don't know my coworkers, I don't have much competition. Aren't you the manager? Come on, you can do better. Super friends, me and me and Kerwit and uh, and Mike B and Katie will all move to Ohio, and you can just hire us, and then we'll be your new coworkers. I want to be the very best. No one ever was. Oh God, please don't do that. Would that be bad? Whoa, I'm not moving to Ohio. <laughs> uh, plan vetoed. I will play first. Yeah, this is hand as a keeper. If we draw a Whisper of the Wilds, buddy... I like that in a pinch, which is what people say all the time. In a pinch, you can do this. In a pinch. In a pinch, you can do it. It's just a really common saying that people love to say. What else? What are sayings for? Um, you can actually discard two cards to Mongrel to make them a 4-4 in order to tap Whisper of the Wilds for, for four mana. Two mana, rather. I'd much rather move out west than drag y'all out here into the depths of the Midwest. I'd rather move out west than you come to the Midwest. Um, so here's the thing. They're going to sack Fume Spitter also to put a counter on this guy. So are we willing to give up two cards for this? I don't think so. I mean, I don't want to give up the land because we kind of need it for our four drops. 
I don't want to give up our four drops. So, you know. I'm kind of I'm kind of opposed to it. Uh yeah, no blocks. Uh as you can see Magic Online, I have no creatures with which to block your your attacker. Are they missing a third land or are they just teasing me? a really unfortunate draw um okay so you have a one card a turn hmm okay well yeah. Like no one ever would. Bert, 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 bert. Still no blocks. That guy's pretty good. Let's play Basilisk. One, two, three, four, five. Basil. So next turn we'll have seven total if we want to convoke. So we can probably go invoker. I think white slaps. That's what you said about the friggin' What's it called? Yeah, I had a feeling you were going to kill that guy. You were just sitting there way too long. Invoke her. I barely know her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can, we can prime arc next turn. They have four cards in hand. What's with all the cards, bro? Sure. I guess I'll just replay them. Could have also just played this as a 3-3, three, three, convoke this guy, but I mean, I'd rather just have the 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. You're doing well for yourself, I see. Boy, they played four removal spells against us so far. That's pretty cool. I'll just play the wing. Wimpy Bones. I appreciate you, buddy. Oh yeah, draw that card. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. I mean, if they want to trade this guy for... Oh, that's just fine. Wow, I thought they were going to Fume Spitter and keep their Parasitic Strix, but that's okay. Uh, cast with kicker one two three. might as well just play seven seven I guess he floats with nine <laughs> he floats with nine what the hell does that mean what a weird thing to say yep there you one a surprising amount of cycling cards in their deck I'm sure this is going to be a removal spell totally lost each player mills two cards and put a creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. 
Yep, it's the surprise of no one. Okay, cool. So you hit two really good creatures and I drew a land. Got it. Got it. Hmm. I'm just going to submit like this. I think our deck is good. I just think we got a little hung up there. I actually am. I think this chaos format is actually pretty fun because all the vintage, all the master sets are, are very, very good. So you get a little bit higher of a power level. So it feels a little more cube like than normal. I'm actually just going to run this guy out there. If they want to chain or edict us, that's fine because we can just get this guy back. Whereas this guy really doesn't do much because they don't have any artifacts or enchantments in play. Blizzard Specter, eh? Oh, that guy doesn't do anything here. You used to watch a ton back in the day, just two and a half years. You're still <laughs> glorious in that winter beard. Keep up the Chaz, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. I feel like we just cast this. Eight is ambitious and uh, don't really. Uh, they do have animate dead, which could be scary, unfortunately. Oh, what up? Who cares? <laughs> they do have animate dead, which could be scary. Hey, look, it's animate dead. Glacial Wall. Okay. Would you like to put these cards on the bottom of your library? The problem is Island. None of these do anything, so I think the answer is yes. Um... Just guy can only stand there if he's seen one more reason to hate. I mean, I don't usually mind that a ton. Unless there's like 40 mythics in it, you know? Like, that makes it a little rougher, but... Um... No, I... Oh, Historic. Historic sounds significantly better. I actually love Historic as a format. Um... <laughs> yeah, like, that's what the issue is. It's all Planeswalkers. I also just might have a bunch of them, so... I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily a problem. Yeah, that's what actually we're looking for. 
no. Oh yeah, I'd love to. Who cares? I'd love to take a look. I'm also like, like I said, I'm a big I'm a big historic fan, so I I actually you know I I wouldn't mind crafting the cards and like probably playing it because historic is a cool format. Oh, what up, Grandma? Uh, return a creature to its owner's hand. Let's bounce my own guy. So now we get to replay it, and uh, you get a four four, but it can't attack this turn, and that's just fine. This guy is a little problematic, though. I think we're just going to lose to Dothy Mercenary here. They play another black, they attack us for five, and then we're at two. Okay, well, that's probably game then, yeah. Because now they can attack us for... for yeah, okay, so that's going to be that's gonna be the end. Not even going <laughs> to... Man, I thought this, I thought this was a... Uh, I thought this deck was good. Maybe this draft goes very quickly because uh, reasons. I thought our deck was cool. I thought it had a lot of big, a lot of big chonky boys. This is a solid curve, though. Till I was twenty-four, I thought narwhals were fixed or fictional. Sometimes we're wrong. It's fair. I mean, it's. I, I'm still having. I still think this format's good. Like, I still like this format a lot. So. I definitely have a much better time streaming and playing Magic when I actually enjoy the format. So, headed to bed. Chanel, have a good night, buddy. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, a little goosh? You guys like a little goosh? Good old Chompkey boys, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I'll just take three if they're attacking. Man, Kerwit, you're leaving two? As a big Chaos Advocate, I actually prefer the more powerful ones, less bigger luck factor. Yeah, I I mean, this feels like a more powerful... I'm actually... Maybe I'll double block here. I feel like Wild Mongrel gives us a lot of... a lot of play here. But then again, if they kill Mongrel, then they just get to eat our Morph Guy too, so... Kerwit, have a good night, buddy. Sure, that's fine. I will trade my my 2-2 two -two for your 3-3. Three -three. Yep, that is fine. I think it's just skin wing. Yeah, sometimes people open... I, I, that's what I was talking about. Like, sometimes people open legions scourge or onslaught and it's just terrible because you have like this this one one soldier or this two one soldier that does a soldier and you're like all right cool but it doesn't do anything this whole pack is just a mulligan um i think it's skin wing here
Because if we're tr if we're trying to block, I think blocking with skin wing is just better. Like it's just fine. It gets more pressure on the board, but then they're just not going to attack with this guy, which means they just get a free. They they block their like their their three two with our three three, and then they can get a guy later. So it's like I don't know. They've already traded their two drop for our three drop, and their three drop for our four drop. <laughs> like I feel like the pressure is only only relevant when we're we're the aggressor, and I don't think we're the aggressor right now. Whereas now, because of the germ, we can actually start getting some damage in, which is actual pressure. And the next turn, without any lands, I'm done. Oh yeah, you just thought it was. Oh, if you just yeah, if you just thought it was an equipment, then that's that's correct. You're 100 percent correct in that situation. And again, I'm playing this guy because it gets through next turn, and then we have just two unblockable guys on board. Plus, next turn, we could also tap two lands, play Gush, replay a land, play Lesselana, draw two cards. Vanilla. Vanilla ice. Yeah, alright, so we're not gonna do anything. This guy isn't flying, right? It's just plus three, plus three. It's just it's just a good dude. We don't hit a land, so we're just definitely gonna We're definitely gushing here. Floating them twos. So then we can play Lissy. Land Spelly Boy. Yeah, this is pretty good. See, this is a good position to be in. Would this guy give other things 1-1? One, one? Uh, each creature you control is a fungus or sapling. It's 1-1, one, one. yeah. I thought he was a fungus-centric gentleman. Oh, I've loved... Conspiracy were great draft formats. I've loved drafting conspiracy sets. They're pretty sweet. I was literally killing people and drawing cards. Then they conspired against me. Man. on brand having either spell bomb is pretty nice because if they have any card that's like fight target creature you're just like okay this is an interesting attack I'm just going to take two <laughs> If you want to pump this guy for four, it's totally fine. And you do. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna tumble magnet next turn, so not a huge deal. Purple dragons, what up? I don't have any enchantments, which is great. Prussia, nothing down on me. So I think four here. Uh, next turn we can actually move the skin wing if we want to this guy for seven. Or we can discard two, three cards in hand. So the funny thing is if they tap out, they might be dead. We move the skin wing here. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we'd be one card shy in hand. Could have kept this for that reason. We could also just draw with spell bomb to hit our fourth card. Discard full grip, attack for 10. Me and my big mouth said, I'm going to kill everybody right now. Then one player had an enchantment that every player could pay mana to put. Oh, yeah, we played that the other day. Man, Mark, it's almost like you shouldn't telegraph that you're just going to try to kill everyone at the same time in the game. Just this guy again, huh? I want to block 
I think if they want to tap out here, it's totally fine. And I'm actually probably just going to bounce this guy if they do that. They could replay him, I guess. But that's their turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, I need to play the land anyway in order to equip this, so this plan does not actually work. As well as I think it would. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Like, it just... It just means they're just... They're, they're going to 6 next turn. And we still have Tumble Magnet that we haven't actually used yet. Yeah, I feel like Skin Wing is just doing the deed here. Pressure looking down on me, looking down on you. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you just won the game. Okay. Sounds good. Sound the good. See the Primordium? We didn't really see anything that that cares about. We also have Trigon Predator for that. Yeah, alright. Didn't see anything super sideboardable. Probably not going to keep that for obvious reasons. Pfft. Sounds not much better. I'm going to keep it and ship the courage. We're on the draw. Prussa? What are you saying right now? Oh, another island. Fantastic. Prussa? What are you saying? I think you're crazy. See, this is a good start. When we don't have anything. <laughs> Although, if we can live till Mahamodi... Save the Mahamodi for your Bodhi. Yeah, we're just going to block. I mean, like, I'm not in a position where I want to just take three, especially with nothing coming down the pipe for us. Hmm. Oof. Big oof. And we're not going to gush here and go to that kind of two lands. It's almost always better to not attack with this guy in case I have a flash guy. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> All right, well, we're going to pay two, return them. Jesus. Oh, my God, are you serious? This is this is it. This is why we lose games, guys. That's unreal. Wow. That is unreal. I just don't even want to... Like, it's not even worth playing at that point. Like, I don't know. Maybe for some people it is, but, like... Uh, this hand seems great. 100% keeping this guy. No, that would have been GG's for me, too. Unfortunately, we didn't even have a single G. It was mono use. If you know what I mean. You got it. 
Don't play more things, man. Come on. You're being ridiculous right now. Mono use. <laughs> Total mono use. Okay, I like that. I don't like taking five here, but you know what? We'll deal with it. Watch them play nothing. Then I'm gonna feel real stupid. And he did feel real stupid. an epic confrontation that was. And look, you still have mana to cast your other two, too. Yeah, I think despite having like seven five drops in our deck. Or two drops, rather. We are just not drawing any of the two drops. Do we gush here? Play land? Probably. Our deck is pretty low, uh, you know. So next time we can play Whisper and Counterspell if we survive. I'm sure they're gonna like Pacify, Arrest, or Faith's Fetters, or Oblivion Ring this guy. They have three cards. Maybe we're so maybe we're okay. Hey, look at that. The exact fucking thing I said they'd do. That's amazing. I don't even know why it took you that long. You're, I'm at seven. Like, just play the card and kill me. Like, <laughs> give me a break, dude. Yep, I have to block two of these. Um, I guess I can play two Sacrificial Whisperers to maybe draw something next turn. But yeah, don't feel like that's a great plan. Oh, boy. O2, guys. O2. Last game, we could not draw a single green source. Well, I guess 1-2 is an option that we could hit. I don't know. Alright, I think that actually hand, that might have been keepable. I think I missed the second land, but... We can get rid of five drop here, I guess? I don't really want to get rid of a... A land and then just not hit a fourth one. Keep ship basilisk. Carrying feeder, eh? And there's the forest. <laughs> right on time. I 
Okay. Break me off piece of that fancy thing. I swear I had two drops in my deck somewhere. I personally don't know where they are, but I, I have to assume they're in the deck somewhere. Like, I don't think we've hit a single Whisper of the Wilds on turn two in this entire... Oh, what up, Nifty Chris? Yeah, that guy's not going to live. Okay, sounds good. Sounds a good. But it did not sound good. It sounded quite bad. Oh, Hissing Iguana. That guy's a, that guy's a little troublemaker, isn't he? And we take a point. Wow. Where's the justice? Oh, what up, Loris? <laughs> okay, Christopher, you can't just go telling people about my World of Warcraft name, okay? That's a... That's a thing we talked about in confidence, okay? This is actually pretty good, because they can sack the red cap. We take another point from the Iguanar. We're taking three here. Two more from this. Yep, that guy dies. Oh, they're just shooting our face. That's fascinating. Okay. Okay, that was good. I had a good I had a good time. Yep. Alright. Well this is this has been a this has been a series. This has been a, a thing. This deck is not very good, unfortunately. We're learning. We're keeping our spirits about us. It's okay. It's okay. And if you ever saw him, you would even say glows. That looked like an L, and it looked like you said for the Hortle. And I was like, what's a Hortle? Okay, we do need... Let's do three drop into land. Okay, well, that's kind of like a three drop, to be honest with you. Hilariously enough, it fits the it fits the bill. Let's get a, let's get a forest. That's close. You know what? Let's let's attack first. How about that? Let's attack first. I wanted to play a bark bark. I did. I made a worgen. Back in my day when I played World of Warcraft, which was like 2011, 2010, we didn't have worgens. I'll take two here. <laughs> this is obnoxious. Land. Yes. The problem is I don't really want to block and trade here, so I'm not going to. Rip, I missed canker. I misread canker abomination. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we're getting in there. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. That's just eat. I'm just eating it. 
Big old, big old dinosaur. Hmm. I mean, this feels better. So they can go two, one, one. Yeah, that's fine. We can we'll trade one of these guys for a murderous red cap. Sure. <laughs> I feel like Mahamadi Dishan is probably gonna be able to close this game out, but what do I know? Okay, Canker Abomination is literally like a 0 0 right now. So, one, two. Yeah, these guys are just big enough that, like, I don't care what we trade with. It's just Canker Abomination equity at that point. Of course. <laughs> do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hmm. This is worth eating. So they have one, two, three, four, six. So it goes a two, two. Yeah, I'm pretty much game for like whatever they want to block with here. The problem is they can't really trade with my guys without making the canker abomination bigger. These dudes are dancing. Sure. Four four seems good. And we're just gonna prevent all the life gain. Sure. They have one card. That sounds good. But it can feel it all over. Returning red cap to your hand. That's good. Gets rid of our germ, but we can just equip this the canker abomination, which is just fine. We might be we might be able to go one two here. <coughs> Tribal flames for 
two plus red cap. Okay. Yep, it's actually not terrible. Okay, there we go. Meh, all right. Okay, this is actually great because we can go Spell Bomb into Simic Growth Chamber, but we do need some playables. And again, no, no Whisper Wood, Whisper of the Woods. So whatever they play, we're going to bounce so that we can get our Canker Abomination up to a 5-5. Five, five. And if they play nothing, we'll just not do that because I think... <laughs> wow. Sure. Yep, that's pretty good. Super Fritz, have a good night, buddy. Get some sleep, my dude. This is actually early for you. Okay, so we're still on course to like play this Integrator Basilisk plus Skin Wing. We just have to take a few hits for it, and I think that's actually fine. This guy's done eight damage so far. Nope, not going to use that one. Bounce you. Big Kanks for six. So they bounced a... Okay. Yeah, Extractor Demon's hard to deal with here. Probably going to block it because they got a lot of 3 damage spells like Fiery Temper and Murderous Red Cap and things. Although I feel like they might have wanted to just kill the germ before doing that. Like they're going to do right now. Oh, Alexa, stop. So Let's see if we can make that irrelevant block anyway milling themselves Rathy Trapper okay we have 9 damage plus skin wing what do they get back Trapper it's kind of funny Yep, 
Kathy Trapper is real good here. Invoker, Elvenwald Tracker. Tap one, we block the other. Like, we just gotta hope they don't have a removal spell, I guess, but I really gotta put the pressure on here. Okay. Did they mill us? They hit two lands. I mean, we know they like their last cards is just red cap. It's why they're just playing so quickly. Cool. Yep. Fucking amazing. O three. Sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to support the channel. Be sure to support the content you're consuming. And. uh I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate it.